new day. Um, day 20, I believe. And, sorry, 21, maybe. I've lost count. Um, I was done had to walk through a surf life saving club having their daily exercises or Sunday exercises. Um, um, started the road fairly, fairly promptly today. It's day 20, that's what it is. It's day 20. So I've hit the road fairly early. I feel a bit tired after yesterday and I've got a difficult decision today. I can stop at 17k or stop at 37. It's a big difference between the two. So yesterday was a massive day. Sense, common sense says stop at 17. But I'll just see how I feel. And I'm feeling really good. I might push on um, to Mangawai Heads. So um, a bit of each walking for the first 5k's, then there's a little bit of a climb later on. Um, let's see how we go. A couple of narrow roads initially, but this one's fairly, um, fairly busy. So watching my step a little bit, it's starting to maybe a very light drizzle. Gets any heavier, I have to put the rain jacket on. Um, oh, two little young cows here. Came off the main drag probably about half an hour ago, and I've hit this. Um, the, the tar seal has turned into like a gravel road. I made really good progress actually. I've been firing up there compared to the really difficult climb of yesterday, or climbs of yesterday. So I've been tearing along this road, and it eventually turns into at the top. It turns into like a, a pathway. Um, which will take me down to Mogwai Heights. Mogwai Heads, sorry. Um, so obviously I've made the decision to carry on and get to Mogwai Heads tonight. So I bypassed Waipu Cove, decided not to stay there. And very, very little activity on this road. So I'm making good progress today. I'm really pleased with the decision I've made. I've got plenty of time to get to the campground and set my tent up. And um, it's about half past one. So um, it gives me plenty of time. You can see the forestry tracks down below. Um, great view, too. Really been motoring up this hill, though. I've been banging out 11 minute k's, which has been really good. But there's a bargain for a really slow climb in here, and it's been so gradual. It's just been so much easier than yesterday. Made it to the top. That was really good. I really enjoyed it. And fortunately, the signs to tell me I'm going the right direction because there was an alternative route there at the top. So, um, Time to make the descent. And 500 meters, I hit a different track, um, which takes me back over farmland, I believe. And so I finally hit the, the walkway on the way down. I'm um, going to take a bit of a stop here now, get on some water. I might take the opportunity now, it's quite sunny, of drying my tent out too. It got quite damp last night and I had to just pack it away. So I'm just going to have a five, 10 minute stop and see if I can just um, um, cover a couple of bases. So I've hit the um, track going down, well, downwards. Well, actually, says here on a, on a climb. Um, it's supposed to be a fairly steep drop, this this track. So we'll see whether that eventuates. Great views from the top. Um, and today's going really well. I spoke to you soon. The last 20 minutes has been ups and downs, going through mud. I forgot we have to hit a trig point yet, which is 276 meters high, and that's just over a kilometer away, so that's going to take a while to get through all this stuff. So it wasn't as plain sailing as I thought it might be. And that's typical of Tiararoa. So I did make it to the second top, the trig point. Couldn't see an awful lot at that point, 
And it looks like there's a few views coming around here. They do look pretty beautiful. Um, one of the problems with the, the tracks like this is that they're so muddy that you pay so much attention to your feet. And you tend to miss what's around you half the time, which is a bit of a shame. Um, on the descent now, I understand this is quite a steep descent. Um, I thought I was actually doing that 45 minutes ago. This is um, the steep descent now, definitely. It'd be nice if this pathway stayed, rather than having to go on all kinds of different terrain, because this is really quite easy on the feet. So, um, fingers crossed, this will, this pathway will keep going for a while before we have to break away from it. So the last two or three k's have been um, um, quite steep climbs up and down farmers' fields rather than on the road that I thought it would be. But at least I've got this view to um, make me feel a little bit better. Just past the sign saying I'm three and a half k's from Mangawai, and um, it looks like I've got a fairly decent track to walk on now, which has been um, a rarity in the last couple of hours. Um, yeah, ready for ready for finishing now. Let's march on. Finally found the campground. The usual problem with getting to the venue and then just going on a wild goose chase, which is very frustrating after nine hours, 35 minutes on your feet. But um, 6.40 p.m. and I need to, I need to check in after, after hours. I've called in advance and they say it's okay. I need to check in, get my tent up, get some food and then crash. tent and for sleep. Um, big day today. Um, here, huge, huge amount of Ks, nearly 40 seconds successive day. I do need to be careful. Um, campground here is lovely. Managed to get some washing done and fed myself obviously had a shower before I know it's 7 o'clock at night. Um, tomorrow it's a very flat section so we're looking at about 26 to 28 Ks. Um, certainly should be a lot easier than the last two. And um, yeah, lights out. Good night. That was day 20. <laughs>